I'll never forget the evening. The sun had just dipped below the horizon, painting the room in deep hues of twilight. I'd prepared a surprise dinner, hoping to spend a quiet evening with Jake. But what awaited me was something I'd never prepared for. We need to talk, Jake said, avoiding eye contact as he shifted in his seat. What's going on? My heart raced, sensing something amiss. I've met someone else, Sarah. He wouldn't look at me, and I could hear the hesitation in his voice. Someone else? Jake, we've been married for years. We've been through so much together. I felt the ground beneath me shatter. It's Lisa. He finally managed to look at me, but it was with eyes filled with guilt. She's... different. We're in love, Sarah. Lisa? The daughter of that billionaire tech magnate? I questioned, aghast. Connecting the dots was easy. It was more about the allure of wealth and luxury than love. Jake nodded. She offers me a life and opportunities that I can't get with you. I'm sorry. I felt a range of emotions, from anger to disbelief to deep sadness. So, our love, our bond, everything we shared, was it all worth nothing against her money? It's not like that, Sarah. He began, but I could see the emptiness in his words. Save it, Jake. Just... Just go. I choked out, tears streaming down. Days turned into weeks, and the weight of Jake's betrayal hung heavy on my shoulders. Morning coffees turned cold as I stared blankly at our wedding photos. Afternoons were filled with the deafening silence of our once-shared home, and nights were sleepless. Adjusting to single life was hard. Bills started piling up, and I had to find ways to manage everything on my own. But it wasn't just the financial strain. The emotional pain was far worse. I could still feel Jake's presence in every corner of our home, from the books he left on the bedside table to his jacket still hanging in our closet. But what hurt even more was how easy it seemed for him to move on. My friend Megan tried to comfort me. You're better off without him, Sarah, she'd say, squeezing my hand for reassurance. But her comforting words felt like a band-aid on a gushing wound. One evening, as Megan and I sat with cups of tea, she hesitated. I wasn't sure if I should show you this, but I think you should know, she said, pulling out her phone. She opened a social media app, and there they were. Pictures of Jake and Lisa on a yacht, at luxury resorts, laughing and drinking champagne. There was even a photo of them outside a luxury penthouse with a caption hinting at a new purchase. Look at them, Sarah. He left you for this superficial life. Megan sounded angry, but all I felt was a dull ache. I sighed, putting down my cup. It's okay, Megan. Let him have his fun. Time will tell if he made the right choice. And as days passed, I found strength in my determination. The road ahead was tough, but I knew I had to move forward. For myself. The days following the heartbreak were agonizing, but with every dawn, I found the strength to drag myself out of bed. New beginnings, Sarah. I'd whisper to my reflection, trying to muster hope. One evening, while leafing through old photos, I stumbled upon one from my college art show. The image reminded me of the hobbies I had let slip away. Remember when you loved painting so much? Where did that passion go? I mused aloud, looking at a canvas of vibrant hues. Making up my mind, I decided to reclaim parts of me I'd left behind. Heading over to the local art store the next day, I picked up brushes, colors, and canvases. But that wasn't all. I joined a fitness class at a nearby gym, feeling the need to connect with my body and channel out the residual anger. The energy, the sweat, and the release became therapeutic. A week into my fitness journey, as I struggled with a particularly tricky yoga pose, a voice called out, Try aligning your feet more. It'll give you better balance. I adjusted my stance and looked up to see a man with a friendly smile. Thanks. That really helped. No problem. I'm Alex, by the way. Sarah, I replied, returning the smile. We struck up a conversation, and I learned that Alex attended the same class. With shared interests in health and mindfulness, our brief interactions soon turned into post-class coffee hangouts. I appreciated Alex's kind nature and genuine interest in my life. There was no facade, just raw honesty and mutual respect. So, you paint and do yoga. Anything else you're diving into? Alex quizzed one day. Actually, yes. I've been contemplating going back to school part-time, brushing up on some business courses. I think it could be a good move career-wise. Sounds like a plan. And if you ever need help, I've got a few business books lying around. With Alex's encouragement, I enrolled in night classes. 
Juggling work, school, and hobbies wasn't easy, but the challenges fueled me. I was driven, not just to prove to Jake or anyone else, but to prove to myself that I could rise again. One day at work, I was summoned to my boss's office. A swirl of anxiety gripped me. I hadn't expected to have a review so soon. Sarah, over the past few months, I've noticed significant changes in you. Your dedication, your new skills, they haven't gone unnoticed. I blinked in surprise. Thank you. In fact, considering your recent performance and the skills you've added, we're considering you for a promotion. The news took me by surprise. All those late nights, the classes, the hard work, they were finally paying off. I'm honored, I responded, holding back tears of joy. Celebrating that night, Alex and I headed to a small cafe, indulging in desserts and laughter. To new beginnings and rising higher, he toasted, clinking his glass against mine. To resilience and supportive friends, I added, feeling grateful for the people and experiences that had shaped my journey. As the night wore on, I reflected on the past few months, the pain, the heartbreak, and the rebuilding. Each experience was a chapter, leading me to a stronger, more confident version of myself. Strolling through the park, I reveled in the autumn breeze, letting my thoughts wander. Alex and I had been seeing each other for a while, and life felt brighter with him around. While I wasn't keeping tabs on Jake, fate had a way of keeping me updated. Hey, Sarah! I turned to see Megan rushing toward me, her face a mix of concern and shock. You won't believe what I just heard about Jake. Taking a deep breath, I replied, Spill it. Lisa's family, they've lost everything. Bad investments and legal messes. It's all over the news. I raised an eyebrow trying to digest the news. Jake left me for the luxury and glamour of her world, and now it's all crumbling? You don't sound surprised? I'm not. Wealth can be fleeting. It's character and relationships that endure. Well, that's not all. Jake's been posting a lot on social media. From the looks of it, Lisa's not handling the loss well. They're constantly fighting. It wasn't hard to imagine. Lisa had always been about status and luxury. With the wealth gone, her true colors were bound to show. The following week, I was at a coffee shop, working on a project, when a familiar voice echoed through the space. Looking up, I saw Jake sitting at a table, arguing on the phone. I told you, Lisa, I'm doing the best I can, but you spending lavishly like nothing's changed isn't helping. A pause. Fine, if you want to leave, then go ahead. As he hung up, his face was a mask of anguish and frustration. Our eyes met and a wave of awkwardness washed over me. He approached hesitantly. Sarah, it's been a while. Has it? I've been so wrapped up in my world I hardly noticed. He chuckled weakly. I guess I deserve that. Rough times, I prompted, not sure if I wanted to open that can of worms. You have no idea. Lisa, she's not handling the change well. And I, I've been laid off. I took a moment, searching for the right words. Life throws curveballs. It's how we react that defines us. He looked at me, remorse evident in his eyes. I made a mistake, Sarah. I left a loving, genuine relationship for superficiality. And now, Lisa's found another wealthy suitor. She's leaving me. I could have felt triumphant, but all I felt was pity. Life's lessons are harsh. I hope you find your way, Jake. There was a sense of routine in my life now. A comforting familiarity. Alex and I had settled into a pattern of sweet everyday moments that brought joy. After a long day, I was eagerly awaiting our night in, with movies and some homemade dinner. Just as I was setting the table, there was an unexpected knock on the door. Upon opening, I was met with a sight I hadn't prepared for. A disheveled Jake, his eyes a reflection of desperation and regret. Sarah, I... I'm so sorry. Sorry? For what, Jake? For the heartbreak? Or for losing the luxury? Both. And so much more. I was blind. I mistook glitz for happiness and threw away genuine love for temporary luxury. I've lost everything, Sarah. And in the process, I realized the worth of what I had with you. The pain of the past resurfaced momentarily, but my newfound strength held me firm. You hurt me, Jake. Deeply. I had to rebuild my life from scratch, find purpose, and regain my self-worth. And now you stand here expecting me to welcome you back? It's not just about coming back. 
It's about realizing my mistakes and genuinely apologizing. I hope you can forgive me. I took a deep breath, processing the weight of the situation. I can forgive you, Jake, but not for you, for me, for my peace. You were a lesson I needed to learn, but our chapter is closed. I've moved on, and I suggest you do the same. His eyes welled up, but I felt no guilt. I hope you find happiness, Sarah. Truly. I nodded. I already have, and I wish you healing and growth. Closing the door, a surge of emotions washed over me. While part of me pitied Jake, there was a triumphant feeling of closure. Walking back into the living room, Alex stood there, having overheard the conversation. Are you okay? Smiling, I responded. More than okay. Life has a funny way of teaching us, doesn't it? Indeed, and I'm glad our paths crossed. We've both had our share of lessons, but what matters is the present. Speaking of which, how about a weekend getaway? Someplace quiet, peaceful, just us. His face lit up. Sounds perfect. Let's start planning. As the evening progressed, I felt a sense of contentment I hadn't felt in years. The past was behind me, and the future looked promising. With Alex by my side, I was ready to embrace genuine love and happiness, leaving behind the scars of betrayal. The journey had been tough, but it made the destination all the more rewarding. The story has come to an end, folks. Quick question for you all. Do you think genuine love can truly be overshadowed by materialistic desires? Or is it always bound to find its way back? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed our animated story, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to OSA, our stories animated for more thought-provoking tales.